Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. In this video, I show you how to use a handwriting website to assign your students their names or vocabulary words for them to practice their writing. If you want to assign this virtually to your students, I also show you how to fix it and upload it into Seesaw. The name of the website is handwritingpractice.net. As you can see, it's totally free and you will click here to begin. You have these three options. I used the first one for the little ones, but when I was teaching in sixth grade, I used the cursive one. I will be picking the first option for this video. At the top left corner, you have all your options. You can still change the font type if you want. You can change the letter style, like with dots or with hollow or outline. I'm going to pick dots. And then here you can choose if you want the same content on each line or if you want it to be different on each line. So I'm going to pick this one for right now. You can also give this worksheet a title. So here I'm putting Escribiendo Mi Nombre and then I'm going to write my name. But as you guys can see here, these are like the previous ones that I did. Because of the option that I selected, whatever word I type, it keeps them all the same. And then again, I'm just going to type my name one more time. And yes, you have more options here as well as you guys can see like the letter size and the paper layout. I like to print mine on landscape. You guys can even change the colors, like of the letters, even the line. In this case, I don't have an arrow showing, so you guys won't see anything different, but I just wanted to show you guys that. You can now click on print to print it, or since we are trying to assign this digitally, then I will click on print, change the destination to save as PDF. And it's downloading now. We're going to open the document. And as you guys can see, this is turned vertical. So we're going to turn this around horizontal before we take it into Seesaw. You will go to view, rotate view clockwise. And there it is. Now zoom out. Now we're going to take a screenshot of this. These are the keys to press in order to make a screenshot from a Mac. And this is how you take a screenshot from a Dell or HP computer. I'm using an HP. Now I'm going to create a new Google slide and I'm going to click Ctrl V in order to paste this image in there. And then you're going to select the image and click on crop, crop out all the unnecessary things, stretch out the image and center it. You can now save this into a PNG file or as a PDF. So you will do that by going to file, download, and then you just pick whichever. In this video, I'm using PNG. Now we can open Seesaw and add it as a template for the student. You can pick either your Google Drive or you can just bring it from your computer. And this is it. You can assign vocabulary words for the students to practice writing or how to write their name, depending on the grade level that you're in. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.